The Philadelphia Eagles, tied for first place in the Eastern Conference, but showing the effects of a tough campaign, met one of the two Western Conference teams they'll have to face. It was the Green Bay Packers, fresh from two straight wins, and looking for more of the same under the lights at Philadelphia. The Packers elect to receive, and promptly set out to make the Eagles grieve, as rookie Burl Schweitzer pulls in the ball on the Packer three and heads up field. At the 25, he cuts to the near sideline and gets past Jerry Norton. Norton finally hauls Schweitzer down, but not before he's returned 88 yards to the Eagle nine-yard line. The next nine yards proved to be too tough, and Fred Cohn tries a field goal from a bad angle. His placement is good, and the Packers take a fast three-point lead over the Eagles. Adrian Burke attempts to get the Eagles off the ground with an aerial attack, but his pass is picked off by a Packer back named Bobby Dillon. Dillon dodges and dances for 60 yards as his blockers mow down the Eagles. He doesn't stop till it's touchdown Green Bay, and the up-and-coming Packers take a 10-0 lead over Philadelphia in the first quarter. The Philadelphians fight back in the second period, with Bobby Thomason now in at quarterback. They take to the air again. Jim Palmer makes a boarding house reach to pull in the pass and put the Eagles on the Packer 45. From the 26, Thomason steps back to toss another one. Toy Ledbetter races into the clear to gather it in and scamper across the goal line as the Eagles get right back in contention with a big seven points to make it Packers 10, Eagles 7. The Eagles get possession on a punt and Thomason tries again. But this try goes awry when Val Joe Walker intercepts and gallops all the way back to the Philadelphia 25. Green Bay's Tobin Roach spots rookie Max McGee and lets fly. McGee pulls it in and gallops across on a 25-yard touchdown play that puts the Packers out in front of the Eagles 17-7 at halftime. In the third period, Tobin Rote and Max McGee play an encore for the Philadelphia fans. McGee races to get behind his man while Rote rolls to his right, then hoists a beauty downfield. McGee's there, and it's a Packer tally from 49 yards out to make it Green Bay 23, Philadelphia 7. As the Eagles attempt to strike back, Bobby Thomason snowed under. A Packer comes up with the ball, and Green Bay's once more on the move. Tobin Rote takes the helm, and his first act is to look for Max McGee. Max is available, and Tobin tosses him his third touchdown strike as the Packers take a 30-7 lead over the Eagles. As the fourth period begins, the Packers take advantage of an Eagle fumble and an interference penalty to strike again on a quarterback sneak from two yards out to boost the tally to a humiliating 37-7 count over the once-defeated Eagles. Philadelphia makes a belated thrust into Packer territory as Thomason fires to Jerry Williams on the Green Bay 26. Thomason keeps the Eagles on the wing with a pass into the flat to Toy Ledbetter. Toy turns in a sparkling run to bring the Philadelphians to the Packer 13. Fullback Jim Palmer polishes off the drive to make the final score read. Packers 37, Eagles 14. But the Packers notch their third straight win and keep the Eagles in a tie with the Steelers and the Giants for first place in the Eastern Conference. <laughs>